All right, so this is your project for the six weeks. You are to do a stained glass window. And so on a poster board, you need to draw a rectangular frame for a stained glass window. And you also need to list the me measurements. So you need to measure out what the length and the width are. And you need to list that. Now your window doesn't need to take up the entire poster board. Okay, you need to leave a frame around your um, window design. And I'm going to show you two good examples in just a minute. And if you look around the classroom, any of the ones that you see that are composed of triangles um, are probably going to be examples of the stained glass windows. There's one that's kind of over by my podium. It's a brown cross with green and blue and pink and yellow triangles in the background. There's one that's a little bit further to the left that's green and pink. There is one that I'm going to show you that's right next to the door as you walk out. And then there's another one that I'm going to show you that is right next to the calculators to the left. And then there's another one that's at the bottom next to the calculators to the right. Um, but there are other ones throughout the room. There are a couple that are by the lamp, by my desk at the back. But you can walk around and look at those if you would like to get some ideas and to see what they did. Now, I'm not saying that every one of them on the wall is a great example, but I'm going to show you two that are really good examples, okay? So you're going to use pairs or groups of triangles. You have to have at least five different sizes and or shapes to create a stained glass window design that's going to go inside of your frame. And you want to use different colors in your design. If you want, you can use symmetry of shape or symmetry of colors to make your design. Um, if you are artsy, you can make a picture like the two that I'm going to show you in just a minute. But that is 40 points. You have to use triangles only. So no circles, no rectangles. Um, now you could make a rectangle putting two triangles together, but no rectangles by themselves. Um, so you've got to maybe get a little creative if you have a neat picture you're wanting to design. But you can only use triangles, okay? So you want to list the measurements of each pair or group of congruent triangles. And you must include both all three side lengths and all three angle measurements. So that's six measurements for each triangle. And I would try to stick with even measures, either metric or maybe you can use um, English. That's what customary means as much as possible so that you don't have a lot of decimals to deal with. Um, so I'm going to show you some pictures of what I'm talking about. So we'll look at this one first. And it's usually hung right to the left of the door as you're walking out. So this one, you can't see all of it in one thing, but it's a picture of houses. And there's a sun, and there's some clouds in the sky, and there's some grass. Now she chose to do a bunch of little bitty triangles around here, and they're all the same size. And so she marked all of the measurements. Zoom in. You see the angles that are marked, and then all the sides are marked. Okay? This number is to designate the length of this one. And then she had a number over here to designate the height of the whole part. And this is all in centimeters. And we can look here. These triangles she measured out. Okay. So you all see how she has all the numbers on her picture here. And again, it's over near the door. So you can go look at it more closely if you would like. But that is what she did for her project, she made a little picture there. You do not have to make a picture. However, you probably, if your picture, if I can tell what it is, you're probably going to get some bonus points. Um, so if you are a little bit creative, you can do that. But that is the picture. Notice that she left a frame around the edge because we're supposed to have a frame around our window. Okay, so you don't want your stained glass picture to take up your entire poster board. Another one is this one. So it's the Egyptian pyramids. You see the two pyramids here and here. 
and then we've got the sun. And if you notice, there aren't a lot of numbers on this picture. She's got her frame measurement, 29.8 centimeters by 22 centimeters. And she left her frame around the edge here. But she numbered her triangles. And so I'm going to zoom in here. These triangles are all numbered 1 because they are all the same size. And so these triangles here, right in this line, are all numbered 2 because they're all the same size. And so what this person did, she turned in a piece of paper that had for triangle 1, these are the three side lengths and these are the three angles. For triangle 2, this is the information. So you can do it that way if you would like. And it's up to you. Okay? So those are a couple of options there. Now I'm going to go back to the rubric. So you're going to have to do that. And um, if you have a lot of triangles that are all different sizes, it's going to end up taking you a long time to do it. And so um, you don't probably want to do that. You probably want to make as few of different triangles as you possibly can. But if you have a picture that you really want to do and it's just going to be a lot of triangles, you can do it. You just don't wait until the night before or you're not going to be able to get all your measurements listed out. So I have protractors in my room. They're over next to the rulers. You are more than welcome to use them. But do not take them home. Okay? You can use them in class, but don't take them home because we need to have them for other people to use as well. And then um, if you need to use a ruler, you can use those. Just don't take the rulers home either. Now for this next one, write a report on stained glass windows. If you type it, you have to have it at least one page typed, double spaced with a 12 point font size. And if you write it, it must be at least three handwritten pages. So when you type something, go to page layout and the margins need to be normal. One by one by one by one. Okay, that is what I want you to use. One inch margins. When it says the font size, that's what this number is. You're going to want to pick a 12. Okay, and you can pick any font you want, but it needs to be legible. If it is something that's extremely hard to read, something like this one, or maybe this one, those aren't good options. I would pick Times New Roman or Arial or another font that's really easy. Tacoma, I think it is. Um, maybe another one. But something that's easy to read. Don't pick one that's going to make me have to squint and struggle to read what it says. Okay? And you can write anything you want about stained glass windows. So you look up what you find interesting about stained glass windows or do some research on them. And that's what you write about. And then the last part, you need to find pictures of at least two stained glass windows with information about where they can be found. So after you write your one page report or your three, you handwrite your three page report, you are going to include two pictures and you need to include where the stained glass windows can be found. So if you took a picture yourself um, and you wanted to include it, that's fine. You just need to tell where that window can be found. So it can be found at this church or at this um, cathedral or at this whatever building you took the picture of. You're more than welcome to look online as well. You just need to make sure to include where that stained glass window can be located in the world. Okay? So that's your project. Hopefully that makes sense for you. Um, you are more than welcome to ask upperclassmen. Anyone that's taken me for any other math class has done these before. They can give you pointers and tips and stuff. So if you want to ask an upperclassman about the stained glass window for more specifics, you're more than welcome to do that, and I'm sure they'll try and help you out as best they can. So I hope you enjoy it. For those of you that are artists, I think you'll enjoy this one a little bit more. You get to kind of draw. So that's it.